Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk, and today I'm going to film my June poetry favorites. I have a lot of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. I always had a repulsive need to be something more than human. David Bowie. I love monsters. I identify with monsters. Good I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but here it is. I just really especially love that one because, I don't know, I'm always one for the anti-hero. I find it more rewarding to read them, more rewarding to write them, and I just, oh no, I identify with them more, I guess. Ooh, this one I really love. You are personally responsible for becoming more ethical than the society you grew up in also can't pronounce it, also right here. I especially love the poems or quotes that, you know, poke a finger at society. I, I don't know, I feel like I'm less alone in that way because I tend to do that myself. This one's really funny that I enjoy. Sorry I'm late, professor. I'm disenchanted with the human experience and waking up every morning thrusts me into an instant existential crisis. <laughs> I relate. When you cut into the present, the future leaks out. William S. Burroughs. Your body is the piece of the universe you've been given. Janine Roth. That old feeling is still in my leaking heart. William S. Burroughs. When was the last time someone ran their fingers through the knots of your soul? By Maza Dehout. It's right here. And now I have time for some lovely Clementine von Radix. She is the poet that I read the very, very most this month, and so I sectioned off of hers. Said off of? I sectioned hers off in this video. He never broke my heart. He only turned it into a compass that always points me back to him. I love the way that she goes about explaining something that has been explained so many times in such a simple manner. And not that simple isn't good, I like simple, but I don't know, it's just very unique in a simplistic yet complex way. It's just hard to describe poetry, okay? This is the entire poem, but it's quite short, so I'm fine with reading it. I am jealous of your tattoos and how long they will stay with you after I go. I like melancholy stuff. Have you picked up on that yet? This poem is titled, That spring everything grew wild and the rain came down like punishment. Only gonna read a little section from this. Change came to me, so ugly then. Showed up alone with moldy suitcases and too many demands, speaking the language of hard looks and wine headaches, telling me things I did not want to know, growling, Getting everything you ever wanted does not make you want less. And you break the hearts of better people who get in your way. When will I stop belonging to this hungry thing inside me? What no one ever talks about is how dangerous hope can be. Call it forgiveness with teeth. I love that. Call it forgiveness with teeth. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. To be sure to check out my June poetry random favorites and what's not. It's a lot of Netflix and a lot of random. Mostly very random. I mean, I talk about coffee and cinnamon and honey in that video, so lots of random things. But again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.